The Artifacts of Mount Independence and the Stories They Tell, a series of brief explorations of Revolutionary War artifacts from Mount Independence on Lake Champlain in Orwell, Vermont. I'm Jim Casco at the State Historic Site in Mount Independence in Orwell, Vermont. Today we're going to look at some artifacts that were found here on the site. They are all 18th century firearms or uh, musket related. The first piece is a cock and top jaw. It relates to the musket lock. It holds the flint in the jaw. This is a smaller cock than would be normally on a military musket. It's probably from a Fowler, which is a 18th century shotgun. We also have just the top jaw screw and the top jaw fused together by age. Another item is what's called a tumbler. It's the main part of the lock which connects the cock with the mainspring and the trigger mechanism. This is the tumbler in place in a lock. We have the remains of a muzzle a barrel that was probably repurposed as a civilian musket or fowler. Normally this tube here, ramrod pipes, would be affixed to the stock underneath the musket here. This is a French weapon which uses bands instead of the tubes to hold the ramrod. Musket uh, ramrod pipes look like this one, which is either, which is cast brass, or this one, which is made of sheet brass. Another item is the trigger plate. This was put underneath the bottom of the stock, and the trigger goes through this slot. This side plate is like a big washer that goes on the opposite side of the stock, right here. This is very likely from a civilian trade fowler. Being as fancy it is, as it is, it, there was a lot of trade with natives and locals and you probably an English made part. We have here a musket worm. This device was screwed on to the end of the ramrod and a double tine, double coiled tine, was used to hold cloth or tow in order to swab out the inside of a barrel. This is your modern reproduction. And for now, that's all we have.